morning, everyone. I'm Yu Tong Wu from uh, Huazhong University of Science and Technology. Today, I will introduce SO Worker, an uh, I.O. optimized out of core graph processing system for second order random walks. So, what is random walk? It is a powerful tool for extracting information from graphs. Suppose that there are some workers in a graph. Each worker starts from a given vertex in, uh, in each step. It randomly moves to a neighbor of the current vertex, repeats this step until a termination condition is satisfied. The traditional random walk is based on the first order Markov model, which assumes the transition probability only depends on the current vertex and is independent of the previous information. Many encouraging results have been obtained under this assumption, such as deep walk, PPR, and sim rank. While some recent works have revealed the necessity of the second order random works, it considers recent work history, that is, the previous vertex in selecting the next stop, which facilitate to model higher order structures in real world data, such as node to vac, second order page rank, and second order sim rank. As we all know, graphs with billions of edges are becoming more prevalent in many domains, and the graph size exceeds the memory capacity of a single machine. So many out-of-core graph processing systems have been proposed to make it cheaper and easier to analyze graph, large graphs and massive random works over a single machine. According to our investi oh sorry, according to our investigation, these systems divide a graph into several blocks and store them on disks. During the random walk procedure, a block is loaded from disk into memory according to a scheduling model. Works that reside on the block are also loaded into memory and can be updated. For the first order random walk, the current vertex and its neighbor are in the block, so it can be immediately updated without I.O. While the second order random walks consider the previous vertex in selecting the next stop, uh, but uh, the previous vertex might uh, belong to other blocks on disk, leading to extra I.O. So to improve the second order random walk efficiency, we need to consider the following two factors. First, how to avoid loading non-updatable walks. Lack of previous vertex information in memory can lead to non-updatable walks. Uh, second, how to load as many updatable walks as possible. More updatable works can accelerate random work processing. Uh, now we provide an in-depth discussion of the limitations in handling second-order random works. One limitation is that current systems load all works on the current block, but not all second-order random works are updatable. We give an example to illustrate the differences in updatable works between first order and second order random works. See the example in the left figure. Suppose block 0 and block 1 are in memory, and block 0 is the latest loaded block. All three first order random works are updatable. While for the second order random work in the middle figure, the color of the upper and the lower worker indicating the block that the previous and the current vertices belong to, respectively. Out of the three works, one has its upper half colored yellow, indicating that its previous vertex belongs to block 2, which is not in memory. As a result, this work is non-updatable. So the work utilization is only two-thirds. 
in order to further evaluate the work utilization of first order and second order random walks. We run deep work and no to back on real world graphs. The work utilization of deep work is always 100%, while it is less than 30% for no to back and it decreases as the graph size increases. So to solve this problem, we propose a work matrix to represent the works. The dimensionality of the matrix is the number of blocks. It is created and updated according to the work states. Each element stores the works whose previous vertex belongs to block I and the current vertex belongs to block J. In each batch, as a worker checks the work states to obtain the block IDs of the previous and current vertices. If the IDs are different, it means the work is crossing blocks. Uh, count the number of such works and update the element of the work matrix. Based on the work matrix, as a worker can readily check whether a work can be updated, judging that both both the previous and the current vertices are in memory, thus skipping loading non-updatable works and eliminating useless work IOs. Further, we adopt a succinct data structure to encode each work with 128 bits in order to organize the work data more compactly. The second limitation is that the existing block scheduling model ignores the dependencies between blocks, just iteratively loads ancillary blocks where previous vertices belong to and is unaware of updatable work states. Due to the irregular structure of graphs and the randomness inherent in random works, Previously, uh, previously visited vertices are unevenly scattered in different blocks. As a result, such non-optimal block scheduling model results in low I.O. utilization. To show that we run deep work and no to work on graph worker, we can see that the I.O. utilization is significantly low in no to work. Uh, besides, running deep work requires fewer than 400 I.O., while running no to work requires over 2400 I.O., which severely slows down the processing of random works. Uh, to consider dependencies between blocks, we develop a benefit-aware I.O. model and load multiple blocks with the maximum accumulated updatable works to max maximize the I.O. utilization. We illustrate the relationship between blocks into a complete directed graph. The edge weight between two neighborhood blocks denotes the number of works crossing between two blocks that is, the values in the work matrix. To maximize the accumulated updatable works, we convert the block scheduling module into the maximum edge, edge weight click problem. To solve this problem, one approach is to use the linear programming method. The objective function is to maximize the sum of edge weights. By enforcing strict constraints, we can guarantee the optimality of the solution, but it's time consuming. To settle this problem, we adopt a simu simulated annealing method to provide efficient and feasible solutions, which is possible to solve large scale problems with an ac ac acceptable time. The, the detailed procedure is given as follows. First, set initial temperature and initial solution. In order to find a good an initial block set, we choose the top N block based on the number of works in a block, meaning the block with more works is more likely to be loaded into memory than in each iteration. 
randomly swap a block between the current and the remaining block set, compute the difference of uh, object, uh, objective function between the two solutions. If the new candidate block set is better, then it will be accepted, or it will be accepted with a probability, uh, with a probability loop until the termination condition is met. Compared to the exact but complicated linear programming method, the simulated annealing method provides an approximate solution, but it's much simpler and the computation time is only a small fraction of the total execution time. The third limitation is that existing systems manage works at a block granularity and restrict work updating to a block, which is called the block-oriented work updating. However, this hinders the work updating and works fail to utilize the vertex information in other blocks residing in memory, resulting in low work updating rate. For example, suppose that block zero is the current block and the two updatable works move along the red path toward vertex three. Under the block-oriented work updating scheme, uh, block one where vertex three belongs to is not the current block, so the works cannot continue to move. In fact, if a work moves to any vertex belonging to the block in memory, it can further be updated since the previous and current vertex information are both available. So we adopt a block set oriented work updating scheme, which allows each work can be updated as much as possible in the loaded block set. The reason is that although a graph is partitioned into several blocks, works can move across blocks via the cut edges between these blocks. So if a work moves to any vertex belonging to the block in memory, it can, be further, it can further be updated until it moves to the block in disk, thus maximize the work updating rate of the loaded block set. Now we start to present the results of our experiments. Here is our test bed and we use two representative second-order random work-based algorithms to study the performance of SO worker, and we compare it with two state-of-the-art systems, GraphWorker and GridSore. Here we list the graphs we use in our exper uh, experiments. Here are the overall performance results. The two figures show the execution time normalized graph worker. The results show that SO worker is faster than both graph worker and grid store in all cases. Specifically, SO worker achieves up to 10 times speeds up over graph worker and achieves up to 5.7 times speeds up over grid store. Uh, since our main goal is to improve the I.O. efficiency of running second-order random works, we compare the block I.O. time, which is the time cost of loading blocks. As we can see, the block I.O. time in SO Worker is only 6 to 41 percent of that in Graph Worker and uh, 8 to 73 percent of, of that in grid store, respectively. Further, we verify that SO worker can improve the I.O. utilization and uh, work updating rate. The left figure shows the average I.O. utilization for node 2 vec on Twitter, Friendster, and the UK Union. As we can see, for all the graphs, SO worker achieves the highest uh, I.O. utilization. And work updating rate shows the similar performance trend. Further, we conduct experiments to measure the effectiveness of our main optimizations. 
first, we evaluate the effectiveness of the block scheduling models by comparing the following models. We run NOTUVAC on UK Union. We can find that the BA model achieves both the best performance and the near optimal I.O. performance. To verify the correct, correctness of BA model, we compare it with the extract model. The results show that a BA model gives rise to a slightly higher block I.O. cost, but it provides a speed up of 6.7 times and the computation time is only 10 seconds. In summary, our BA model can achieve better I.O. performance and faster runtime. Next, we evaluate the effectiveness of block set oriented work updating through a compression experiment with block oriented work updating. Since our benefit aware IO model requires the help of block set oriented work updating, so we design a baseline system which loads a block with the maximum number of works as the current block and iteratively loads another block into memory as the ancillary block. We incrementally add the block set oriented or block oriented scheme to the baseline system and evaluate the performance impact of our contribution. The results show that we can yield up to two times speeds up. Uh, in conclusion, SO Worker is an I.O. optimized out-of-core graph processing system for second-order random works. We implement three, optimal, uh, three main optimizations, work matrix, benefit-aware I.O. model, and a block set oriented work updating scheme. Compared to two state-of-the-art out-of-core random work systems, as a worker is significant performance speeds up. Uh, thanks for your attention.